Hello friends, welcome to my channel and from today I am going to start a video series for maths. So if you are preparing for any competitive exam like SSC, Banking, DSSSB, Railway, Police, MBA or any other entrance exam, so these videos will help you. If you have problems in maths, if you are weak in maths, if you find difficulty in solving maths. And uh, actually what happens that most of the people do not have maths after 10th class. So they find difficulty in solving maths and in competitive exam they face problems in maths. So uh, from today I'll daily upload some videos in which I'll try to explain you in a very easy and simple manner. And um, I'll, co I'll try to cover the whole syllabus uh, from arithmetic to algebra to all the advanced maths. So, and hopefully I'll upload, I'll complete this series very soon and uh, I hope these videos help you. So this is my first video and this video will completely be in English and if you wanna, if you want this video in Hindi, so there is a separate video uploaded, so you can check it out if you want it in Hindi. So this video is gonna be completed in English. All right, so today uh, I'm starting the first topic which is in, uh, which is number system. Number system is actually your first topic and it's a very big topic. And uh, that's why uh, I'll, uh, this, this uh, chapter will be in parts in, uh, there will be so many parts of this chapter and today the first part I'll teach you and that is rational numbers and irrational numbers. Okay, so let's start. All right, so first of all, let me tell you that uh, all the numbers in the world are real numbers. Well, there are some image, there are some numbers which are called imaginary numbers, but you can say that all the numbers, actually imaginary numbers are not in your syllabus. You have to study only real numbers. So all the real numbers, all the numbers you see, actually they, those are real numbers. Okay. So all the real numbers are divided into two categories, rational numbers and irrational numbers. All right. So what's a rational number and what's an irrational number? Let's have a look. If we go by definition, rational numbers can be written in the form of P upon Q, where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. If you don't know what an integer is, then I'll explain it. So this is basic definition, but you don't have to, uh, you know, like learn the definition. You will be asked in exam, uh, you will be given some options. And you will be asked which of them is an irrational number or a rational number and then you have to mark the correct option. Okay. So they will not ask why it's uh, like the definition of rational number and all these things. But I'm just telling you that, okay, just for your basics. And irrational numbers can be written, cannot be written in the form of P upon Q. Okay. They can't be written in the form of P upon Q in a in fraction. All right. So now I'll tell you all the types of rational numbers and all the type of irrational numbers. Okay. So let's start with rational numbers. So first, all the integers are rational numbers. All the integers you see are rational numbers. Okay. So integers can be positive. 0 and negative integer. So first of all, what's an integer? Integer is a perfect number. I mean, it, it shouldn't be a decimal. Okay, like 1.5. It's not an integer, but like 4, 5, 10, 20, because these are perfect numbers. These are integers. Okay, and all the integers are rational numbers. Got it. So all the positive, uh, all the integers whether it's positive, zero or negative are, integer, are rational numbers. Positive means one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. All these are positive integers. Zero is also an integer and negatives minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. All these are also rational numbers. So if someone asks you, what is zero rational or irrational? So you will say it's a rational number. What is minus five? Well, it's again a rational number because it's an, it's an integer. It's a negative integer. Fine. So uh, let me tell you that all these, uh, 
I mean positive integers are called natural numbers. Fine. So these are natural numbers start from 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all these are natural numbers. And if you include 0 with this, you will get what? If you include 0, you will get whole number. So whole number series start from 1, uh, from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. These are called whole numbers, okay? And these are negative integers. Second types of rational numbers are fractions. All the fractions you see are rational number like 2 upon 3. And it's actually definition, okay? 2 upon 3, it's a rational number. If you ask me, sir, why 4 is a rational number? Okay, if you ask me, why 4 is a rational number? So 4 can be written in the form of 4 upon 1, where 4 and 1 both are integers, okay? So if you want to learn in this deep way, this is the, the explanation why 4 is a rational number. And if you want to just learn, okay, integers are rational number, then you can learn it that way, okay? Now, all the fractions are obviously rational numbers. 4 upon 3, uh, 2 upon 9, all these fractions are rational numbers. Fine. Alright, uh, let me tell you that, suppose that you have root 5 upon 4. And if you ask me, uh, sir, it's a fraction. Is it a rational number? No, it's not a, actually it's not completely a fraction, okay? Because we, we don't see any, uh, because these both are not integers. In order to be a proper, in order to be a fraction and a rational number, both should be integer. So this thing is not a rational number and this root 5 concept I'll teach you later, a little bit later on, okay? So it's an irrational number. So all the fractions are rational numbers. Let's talk about decimals. What are decimals? See, there are two types of decimals. Those are terminating decimal and non-terminating decimals. Have you ever divided 1 by 2? What do you get? You get 0 0.5. You get just 0 0.5. But have you ever divided 1 by 3? What do you get? You get 0 0.33333 and it just goes on. It doesn't stop. So 0 0.5, it stops. So it is called terminating because it terminates. On the other hand, 0 0.333 and it goes on. So it's because it doesn't terminate. It's called non-terminating decimal. So, uh, in one hand we have terminating decimal, which is 0 0.5, and on the other hand we have non-terminating decimal that like 0 0.3333 and so on. Clear? Terminating, non-terminating, and first lot talk about terminating. All the terminating decimals are rational. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.002, 0 0.003. And if it stops, no matter how long it is, but if it stops, it is it will be called a terminating decimal and eventually it will be a rational number. So all these are rational numbers. Fine. Let's talk about non-terminating decimals. Non-terminating can be categorized into two categories. First, recurring. And second, non-recurring. Okay, now understand what recurring is and what is non-recurring. Suppose that you, if you have any decimal which is 0.333c, since we are talking about non-terminating, it means it will never stop. So 0.333 and it goes on. Okay, 0.121212 and it goes on. What pattern do you see here? First thing, obviously it doesn't stop, it is non-terminating. And second, this 3 is repeating. We can see that 3, 3, 3, it's it just repeating itself. So it will, it can be written also as 3 bar, 0 0.3 bar. Because 3 is repeating here. Fine. Similarly, 0 0.121212, it will be 0 0.12 bar. Alright. 629.17617 dot dot dot. What is this? 
six to nine point one seven six is repeating, so you will put bar on it. And because this is reoccurring, it is repeating itself. So this uh, this will be these all these numbers are recurring, okay? And all these numbers are rational numbers. So all the recurring decimals are rational numbers. Fine. I hope it's clear to you. Let's come to non-recurring. All right. Non-recurring, as the name suggests, it's non-recurring. Means numbers don't repeat themselves after a certain uh, interval. So, for example, I'll give you an example. Zero point one zero one zero zero one zero 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 one and dot dot dot. What do you see here? You see that it is point one zero, then one zero zero, then one zero zero zero. Okay, so you can see that a particular number is not repeating. We have ten, then we have hundred, then we have thousand. It's like that. Okay, gap is widening, gap is increasing. So, what is this number? This number is this number is an irrational number. So first time you are seeing here an irrational number, and that is this. This is an irrational number. So what? This is zero point zero one zero zero one zero 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 one dot dot dot. So basically, an irrational number would be in this very case is non-terminating and non-recurring. So it will have both the qualities: non-terminating, non-recurring. Okay. If you remove dots. It will become terminating, so it will be in this, and uh, it will be called rational. But since we have here non-terminating, so it will be an irrational number. So it's an irrational number. Fine. Let's take some more example. Four point one two one one two one 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 two dot 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 again irrational numbers. So I hope it's clear to you. Now let's talk about square roots and cube roots and some other things. What is root four? It's one. What is square root of four? It's two. What is square root of nine? It's three. Okay. But what is square root of two? Square root of two is one point four one and so on. Okay. It's it's not a perfect. It's not a perfect root. I mean, you can't find a perfect square root of two. So this is an irrational number. Similarly, root three irrational number, but root four is a rational number because it's two. Root five again irrational number. Root six again irrational. Root root seven irrational. Root eight irrational. But root nine again it's rational. Okay. So we are talking root means square roots. We are talking about here about square roots. Okay. Cube root and other things we'll discuss in separate class. So here for basics you can understand that all the square roots. Which are not like perfect root, perfect square roots are uh, which are perfect square roots are rational, and which are not perfect square roots like this, like these numbers are irrational. Similarly, root ten because it's not a perfect square root, you can't find a perfect square root of ten. So square root of ten is an irrational number. Now we have pi. What is pi? Pi is an irrational number. You know what is pi? Ratio. Of circumference to diameter is called pi. You you must have heard about pi, and uh, you must have seen the value that pi is twenty two upon seven. But that is not the exact value of pi. That is the approximate value of pi. Okay, twenty two. So twenty two upon seven is actually a rational number, but pi is an irrational number. Okay, so it's an irrational number. This exponent sign. This is also an irrational number. So if you see up in the option that uh, you have pi there, you have E there, you have root three, and you have a uh, root uh, four. So which of these is rational? So obviously it's irrational, irrational, irrational. Root four is irrational. Fine. Now, so this was the basic introduction of of uh, rational numbers and irrational number. I hope it's clear to you. And uh, to make it even clearer, let's practice some questions. All right. Now let's have a look at these questions. So I want you to stop this video here. I want to, I want you to pause this video here, and I want you to try these questions. All right.
and uh, I'll give you three minutes to solve all these questions and to figure out which is rational or which which are rational or which are irrational numbers. Okay, so pause this video and come back after three minutes. All right, now I'll solve these questions and I'm sure you have figured which is rational or irrational. So let's see. Now this first, it's an integer. So for sure it's a rational number. Okay, all the rational numbers in this video I'm writing with black marker and all the in all the irrational numbers I'm writing with blue marker, okay? Blue. Okay, so this is I'm writing with black marker, so it's okay, and uh, it's integer, it's a negative integer, but it's an integer uh, and it's a rational number. Zero, as I told you that it's a rational number, it's fraction, uh, sorry. It's decimal and it's a terminating decimal. So terminating decimals are rationals. Similarly, it's a decimal in negative, again rational number. It's a fraction, again rational number, again rational number. Okay. Now have a look at this. You know that root 12, there is no not, a, not perfect root of square root of 12. So this is an irrational number. Here you can see that 4 is of course a rational number, but root 5 is an irrational number. So the whole thing will become an irrational number. Okay, so it's an irrational number. Now this thing, let's solve this. What is it? So it is 16 upon 100, okay? If you simplify, you will get 4 upon 25. You know square root of 4 is 2, square root of 25 is 5. So it's an it's a rational number. Fine. Now have a look at this. This is decimal. This is this is this is a rational. This is a rational because decimals are rational, and uh, this is a pure number. This is also rational. But uh, and if you divide rational by rational, you get rational. But still, if you want to convert this into this form. If you don't know it, I'll teach you how to write this in, in later videos. But this is obviously we can write in this form and since both are integers and if you go with the basic definition, it becomes a real number. This is, it seems like it's an irrational number because gap is widening, but since the number is terminating here, so it's a rational number, okay? Because it's terminating, there is no dots here. Now it is 4.141414 and you can see that it's uh, it's though it's non-terminating but it's recurring again it's a rational number. If we have a look at this it's it now here it's non-terminating you can see the dots uh, these dots and you can see again that gap is widening here so this is what this is an irrational number so it is non-terminating, non-recurring. That's why it is an irrational number, okay? You can see gap is widening. This is a like basic identification of this, this question. Well, if you solve this, you can use a plus b into a minus b, which is a square minus b square. So it becomes three minus two and that is one. Okay, so it's a rational number. And what is this? If you solve this, eventually you will get three plus two plus two root six, 5 plus 2 root 6, which is, which is an irrational number. Okay, it's an irrational number. Because though it's a rational, but if you add a rational to irrational, if you add a rational, rational number to an irrational number, number become irrational, okay? So because this is irrational, so the whole thing will, will become irrational. All right, so I hope you got all the answers right. Okay, so this is the end of our video and uh, in the next video, I will teach you how to convert decimals into fractions. The, that's going to be again a very important video. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless you.